course the bot is still dead. I have no idea why it's still not working. Like I, I literally change everything and it still refuses to work. I have no idea. On the bright side though, I finally got the EC plate for the Tekka. So now I have a group by unit plate so that I can use every single screw that I actually wanted to use. <laughs> and I'm planning to use MT3 Noctua uh, on this board. Stream didn't load until now. Uh, no idea, to be honest. Everything is green. Mm, you, you didn't lose much. Uh, so I was basically saying that uh, we are going to be swapping the plate for the one that I already have in this unit and then that I received the uh, EC plate for the Pekka with the correct spacing and the screw holes that we actually are going to be using in the final unit. So that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> One thing, uh, I'll move this. There we go. And I also wanted to clean up this paint job and use my own. And I can see that Fujifilm is doing the funny today by not focusing properly. Hello there. there we go, should be fixed focus now, I hope. Yes. Uh, thank you, Macho, for the follow. Yeah, they're just great. Boxes at a stand, they're magical. Especially with PC. You can use uh, something like 3D printed parts. Um, to hold up the boards and there's actually a 3d printed um, four piece set for real force uh, plates that basically hooks up into the bent parts but for PC uh, you can scratch it up pretty easily so So as you probably can see here, I have the like raw um, stainless steel, and I will be swapping them out. So for this one, I think I need to swap it out to this screwdriver because I used like some saucy dimensions for these screws. They were like five bucks above. Amazon. So they were like super weird. <laughs> LTT high precision screwdriver. Yeah, if if they can manage to like ship out something, got them. They 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 received a fair bit of criticism 
and I I think it's actually totally reasonable. Like apart from the medicine uh, situation, like they they've done they, they basically shot themselves for quite a lot of time. I would have preferred for them to like internally tone down a little bit the production uh, queue, but like it, it was pretty clear uh, that the production timings and all of that were like killing the entire team and not in a good way. Like the, the self-imposed timelines were insanely high. Oh, hi, Pika. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was basically gonna happen anyway, especially with the uh, enlargement of the workforce. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, no, we are talking about the LTT going to shit for a while. And how basically everyone that is saying, oh, I didn't saw that coming. Like, they literally just lived on another planet. <laughs> The same way, people, what happened to LTT? Uh, so, a whole lot of stuff. Uh, there's a TLDR somewhere, so you can probably look it up. Uh, it's faster to just watch the TLDR. <laughs> oh yeah, like apart from the allegations from Madison, if that's what you're referring to, but I think it is. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm... I mean, oh no, don't worry about it. Like, we love to talk about LTT and all of this situation. Okay, to this day, I can't, for the love of God, manage to stick 55 gram domes to the PCB. It's insane. I managed to do it with basically every other board, but not with 55 grams. I don't know why. Also, I just realized that probably taking out the keycaps before doing this was a better idea. Uh, yes, it was indeed. Giggle, exactly, giggle. Uh, so, what we can do, since the other domes are still aligned, we can kinda, kinda do this, it, it's very sus, don't do this at home, there we go, we can just screw in, just a couple of screws, you know, just to have the domes there. I actually did not code anything to the PCB. The best one that I managed to achieve was the Real Force R1 with both the like the entire dome sheet, you know, the one in the JIS 91U. Uh, that was amazing. I actually shared a video, I think, in Conical and like, somewhere else, uh, where I basically killed uh, the dome sheet and also I think I managed to do it with the Unreal Force board without any loop, zero loop, without even the like the oils uh, that separate from the uh, stabilized keys because remember I only loop those two so that's the only way uh, I can have oils of any sort. Uh, 
go on to the PCB. Yeah, I, I actually managed to stick the 55 gram domes on the Theca PCB. Not all of them, but I think that the cause of that was simply not having the correct uh, screw holes. Because remember, before this, uh, the red one that I received once I came back, uh, I was using the prototype FR4 with standoffs, so not really the most ideal. Nah, nah, we don't do that here. We like to... Oh no, I don't know where the J and the K go. Better pick up another real force or an HHKB to look it up. And that's why... I have an HHKB near me. That's that's literally it. <laughs> that's literally it. That's why I have another HHKB here. <laughs> also, this board has been neglected for basically ever since I got it. May I bring your attention to... Where is it? the mod key that is not the correct one and the enter key that is from a real force or while i have nks bke <laughs> basically everything put together <laughs> don't worry about it it's fine Yeah, so we, we closed the LTV discussion. So now we can open the very, very open wound that is Moxery. <laughs> you, you should, you should actually You should actually send me a titanium iPhone and Albius or Rake. Actually, no, for Rake, PC would be pretty funny. Have you completed the postcards uh, signing process? So when are we gonna when are you going to ship this? Because you know that at the end of the month there's uh clacky corn. Because I got cocked pretty hard by Shaw and I mean I can't say that Gok and the menu cocked us too much because we didn't actually plan for this. Like I literally just uh, rang up uh, Gok and said, hey, do you think we can manage to have a prototype unit sent to me so that we can hype up people at the meetup? And he said, mm, I mean, the board, yes, but we have to test the, uh, like the rubber um, standoffs. Uh, yeah, EC Tap K, yes. It's not a secret, so we can talk about it.
Yeah, so you know that in Type-K you have the rubber inserts that actually like plug into the sides of, sides of the plate uh, and it will basically hold uh, the assembly. Because of the difference in plate thickness, uh, we need to make different ones, otherwise the... Uh, yeah, grommets, exactly. So, because the assembly is different in height and the plate is different, if we were to use the same ones, the plate will actually move. Uh, so, the the rubber will uh, wouldn't actually like grab onto the plate. And so, we need to make new ones, basically. That's the TLDR, basically. Uh, the plate will probably be alu, uh, mainly because it's it's the easiest one to make uh, and to design around. I think he mentioned something about like alternative uh, plate materials. Uh, but I'm not really sure uh, at which stage they're in. You're spending way too much, Jason. Okay, unironically though, in real life, this stainless steel plate, after I like send it down just a little bit, it actually looks like titanium. Like on camera, it looks way more like silver alu, but in person, it has that distinct, like weird look that titanium, like raw titanium has. That at first I thought that I ordered the uh, the wrong thing. And I was like, oh, maybe that's why it was like a hundred and something bucks. <laughs> but then I rechecked it and I was like, no, no way I can tap this uh, without making a mess if it was titanium, so. Uh, not at all. Like, the only sanding that I did, and this is, like, a very early proto. Like, it was before the files were even public. Uh, it was on the uh, spacebar stabilizers. And the only issue with them was that if you have ever used the, uh, the rounded stem version, they are slightly different than like normal OEM ones, even though they are still OEM. But for whatever reason, they are slightly different. And so they needed a little bit of sanding. That's all. Yeah, the, the brass was... Uh, I mean, brass in general, but especially the show one, was very hard to work with. I don't know if it's the finish, or if they like wrongly accounted for final tolerances once everything was processed, but it was very hard to even put in like one new housings. Like it was very, very hard for me to build anything with it. It was 
it wasn't really like clipping the problem. The issue I had specifically was that the finish, like the surface finish was very rough and it was living down uh, like a little bit of a sand material kind of. So for example, uh, when I inserted the housings, it was very difficult because it was leaving behind like residues all over the place. And even the screws, they were a big problem because the actual thread wasn't clear. It had like gunk in it. So the screws wouldn't actually hook up into the thread properly. And it was causing all sorts of issues. So I think this is Alu and it was painted pink. But Logos can give more insight about this because he actually sent the Oh it's steel. I mean yeah, you know it's totally steel. <laughs> By the weight alone, it is totally steel. I'm using a screwdriver to actually poke out the housings because on this particular uh, unit that I had made, tolerances were not actually great. Okay, one thing, I don't know if you noticed it. But on the one new housings, the added material from the paint actually prevents the housing from clipping in properly. Like the, the stem is binding. Yeah, no, it's totally binding. Let me try with another housing. Yeah, like... It doesn't go in smoothly. And it doesn't click. And it binds. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... this there we go okay what I'm thinking is I 
can either take a file or something else and just rub off the paint from the inside. Because that's the that's the only way I can see this working. the only way you can use this. So the clips are actually on the top side and bottom side. I mean do you do you think that only like flattening the paint just a little bit will work? If it's if that's the case, I can just go back and forth a couple of times. doing sussy tests now we are trying to see if by only doing the bare minimum we can achieve something and we totally can't ah damn okay we are actually clipping in now but we are definitely binding steel like very aggressively the question now is though do we wanna actually do this Is this gonna be the shortest stream ever? Where I just say, hey, just hope? Yeah, you actually said that they were scuffed. Okay, unironically, if I use a hex knife and I just go along the edge, I can literally just take out the paint. So let's let's do a test on this. And if it works. We probably have a solution. I mean, to be honest, more scuffed than the pink plate that it came with, it can be. So. Yeah, but don't don't worry about it. He spent like 50k on the molds alone. Don't worry about it. And then he sold it to uh, Omnitype. And then oh, what is this? I've randomly found 150 plates, both in white and black, and what? also some PC units. Ah, dude, that's crazy. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I don't have the alerts apparently on, so now not only the bot doesn't work, but even the alerts don't work. Nice. 
An APC plate available? No. Uh, I don't have. Yeah, you buy... No, you buy a U experience. Because it's up to you to make it good. Okay, we, we are memeing way too much. And probably the cause of the new custom stuff being made is partially even though he's not gonna say it they are partially caused by us memeing to the death of the project By the end of stream, I'll be sniffing 189C Pantone for like five days with all the paint that I'm rubbing off. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh, no binding. It works. Awesome, awesome. Poggers. Poggers indeed. So, we can just keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's bare minimum. It's better than filing. I gotta say that. Because I can just go back and forth and most of the paint will actually like come off in flakes. I'm gonna watch out my fingers. Also, because I'm using a knife and I'm cutting the, the, the paint, I think this will actually be nicer on the flat surface because I'm, I'm basically doing a clean cut, so I'm not flaking off.
people are gonna buy it only to make like product page uh, pictures for keyboards, especially the K-pop ones. I think that doing all of farm sites is faster. It's gonna be faster. Cause that way I don't lose time changing hand. Uh, why is crapping? Uh, so it was a early unit. Uh, tolerances were iffy, and there's way more paint than needed. So the housings either fit in barely and they don't clip properly or if they actually fit they bind if you go for um, like raw finish you won't have those issues of course I said, oh yeah, this is gonna be like a 15 minutes stream. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fast. <laughs> you know what? We should go back to OEM HHKP. You know? HHKP classic? That's, that's all we need, you know? That's all we need. 
USB hubs? No, we don't need that. Go back to OEM. Yes, you know the meme with the curve. The oh OEM. Oh no, custom alu, and then the the guy with the cave saying, "Nah, return to stock OEM plastic, good." Yeah, that, that that's literally me right now. Bro, you, you created another peak. Like, you went over the mountain and then you said, oh, titanium. And you generated from nothing another mountain in front of you. You know that. You were like the guy in Minecraft that starts to build mountains for no reason. Pretty much. Your music, true. You are correct. Let me find it. Uh, can you send me like a, a ping so that your chat comes up in the list? Because <laughs> I don't have a keyboard here. <laughs> YouTube. Okay, so we want the spinny thing. Oh no, we can't find the playlist. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no playlist. Okay, so spinny thing without the one and then play. I think the volume levels are still the same from last stream. So the volume should be basically the same.
can use a housing and find it down one side. I actually can. Okay, I think we are not in like super, super fucked up waters now. Let's see. Uh, random one. This one. Binds here. God damn it. Why can't we have nice things right away? You know? Yeah, basically. Mm. Okay, this is way more sketchy than on the other side. Here, there's actually a chance of me cutting myself. Hello, Andreas. So we are trying to use a hex knife to cut away the paint on the inside of the housing cuts. Okay, not all of them, but the majority of them, they might actually work with only Top and bottom. Rotary tools, they make noise and it's half past ten. So they're 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 a big no-no. <laughs> also, it's actually easier. You know. It's actually easier because this way, since the paint is thick, like you know how acrylic and like automotive paint is they basically go out in flakes if i go under and then i just drag i can just have flakes like literally flakes hello fuji fuji moment there we go you see it's basically just flakes of paint and it's easier to manage them Let's go back and pull a magic man in focus. There we go. Uh, yeah, the cut actually healed finally. It wasn't really the cut that worried me at first, but it was the fact that. It was spilling everywhere and even after like a day that I had a band-aid on with like alcohol in it, uh, it was still like pretty reddish. I mean it, it was probably red because of like uh, inflammation and uh, the alcohol. But as soon as I like moved the thumb just a little bit, uh, it would reopen basically. So.
Yeah, I think if we do top and bottom only, very deep, so that we expose actually the metal, we can get away with only two sides. Seems incredible, but it's true. The shuffle on the music is actually working. Crazy. Oh, oh, are you gonna bring some prototypes for the keycaps? That's the real question. And my suggestion, bring something to actually carry them. Because we don't want to have a GMK copper moment at the meetup. Those who know, know what I'm referring to when I say GMK copper. With yours, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard, but still. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be very, very stupid to pick them up. Like, they are literally not in, like, not available. And the number of people outside of Andreas and the menu that actually had samples like non-existent so <laughs> wait what are you guys saying about me wait a second wait a second where an archive that is totally an archive chat I see a lot of Rana stuff. Oh man, hashtag small business. God damn. I hate that guy. Also, shameless plug. If any one of you is in need of a MacBook Pro 13 inch with an M1, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gig SSD, DMV because I desperately need funds for projects and I don't need a backup computer. Uh, I'm 
not sure how much space. Uh, music can allow. I don't think how much space we're gonna actually have for each one of us. Uh, so, music was fine. Uh, I think it's like the track itself. I mean, it's whatever. Also, the mic is totally not pointing at me correctly, so... <laughs> I think we will have like that much space. The place is rather big, I gotta say. So it really depends on how many people will actually come. Uh, I know that all of the vendors uh, spots are sold out. And I mean, I'm not really sure how many were initially but that's pretty pretty good i know that uh canon keys uh, will have a booth hello there no it's inside should be inside Let's go back. It's weird because I'm on repeat. Uh, whatever. It's... It's whatever. the sussy R lines. MX board band Insta band Someone, someone, real quick, real quick, uh, take a screenshot, post it in Conical, so we can demote him. Thanks.
You got caught it in 4K. <laughs> Said, nice. Let me see it. There we go. Cut in 4K. GG. We got him. need to bring up the vacuum down once I've done the rest of the plate because this is bad <laughs> no. so top and bottom is done uh, only the last row Yeah, I'm not really sure what it will actually bring to the meetup, to be honest. Because as you guys know, like, I don't actually build boards. And the one that I have built are either not lubed or like they make weird sounds. So I, I really don't care how a board feels. What I care about is what's inside, basically. <laughs> but I can't ship uh, only PCBs to a keyboard meetup, you know. I was planning to bring the HG that I got from show. I got a red unit with a brushed top so the normal red unit that he sells is like the blasted uh, silver top but I kind of dislike the effect uh, on the HG like it it looks too uh, to sand it. Uh, I don't know really how to describe it. Gaslight thing, we actually did it at the uh, Spain meetup. There's this guy that had a Pro 2 with uh, Redux, like the, the OG uh, Redux. And people, oh, they went ballistic for it. Like they were so confused by it. They, oh man, I'd never seen such looks on people's faces when trying keyboards. They were like in shock. Like, one thought it was MX because of the super high-tech Yeah, 
the key redux. Uh, I think they were like the heaviest one. Like, oh man, when I actually, and the, the best thing was that the spacebar was perfect. It's literally the most perfect spacebar EC that I've ever tried. And I was like, how is it even possible? It, it should make every single sound in the universe because of the return. But no, it, it just works. <laughs> it literally just works. Okay, so I'll be bringing in the vacuum to take out all of the metal parts and paint. Then we can transplant the housings. Be right back. And we are back. This stream is brought to you by Dyson. So this is the front, so this is the back. No bind. There we go. No bind. Perfect. I think I got it.
the spines. Oof. Why is that? Oh, because this is not actually cut. Basically nothing. Uh, I forgot to uh, clean a couple of holes, and also we used the Dyson to clean up. Nothing critical. with sugar. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do.
Hello, Team Kilas. Thanks you for the follow. We don't have a bot. We don't have anything running. Uh, Streamlabs decided to cuck us once more. I've also tried to like reboot somehow the bot and it still doesn't work. Uh, yes, you sent me screws and I actually used them for the deck out uh, because I already had uh, screws for this. But I gotta say, the screws that you sent me are way, uh, way better than the ones that I got. Because they are probably the same alloy, uh, they are the same thread uh, spec uh, in regards to ISO specs and all of that. But the screw head is flatter and it's uh, like three fourths of the thickness and I actually use them in the Theca because since it is angled, like the case is uh, like this angled, uh, I had a fear that the screws that I had would actually create uh, like too much thickness uh, so that the case wouldn't actually close properly. But with your screws, no issues. Yeah, exactly. Totally, totally normal procedure here. Like, I'm not worried to fix it properly uh, beyond trying to, uh, like, stop the, uh, the service and reopen it. And I even tried to, like, open another account and make it not there, but it doesn't work. So literally a miscule issue. Uh, yeah, I did the uh, ECPCB for uh, the Tekka. I didn't do the MX. Uh, but I did the EC. Yeah, exactly. Actually, if you have a link for those, I think I'll buy like 10k of them. Unless they are from uh, McMaster. If they're from McMaster, uh, that is gonna be a very pricey bag of screws. <laughs> but if you spend more than a couple of hundred bucks, you might get lucky and they're gonna send you the uh, MacMaster uh, catalog, which is pretty freaking cool. You can't buy it. Uh, as far as I know, like directly from them, you can't buy it. The only way to get it is if you order big enough. <laughs> I mean, you pay what you, what you get, like, it's one of those places that if you go there, you do it for the convenience of don't, uh, not having to worry about searching 500 different places or going through AliExpress, hoping that the alloy that they have, uh, it's actually the one that you want. Because I remember trying to uh, get a carbon fiber uh, like part and I told them, hey, I want nylon in it. I I'm willing to pay more for it, but I want like uh, stacked nylon parts in it. And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Then I used the part, it exploded. So like, first of all, carbon fiber exploding, not fun. And I looked through the pieces and I was like, buddy, where's my nylon? There's literally zero nylon here. 
and as a matter of fact, they forgot about it. And I was very mad. Oh, it's gonna be a costly shipping. I can tell you that. I remember someone had the catalog and it, it was like probably 60 euro, like close to 60 bucks uh, using uh, USPS. So basically the cheapest one that you can get with tracking. You can use like pirate ship uh, and all of that, but it's gonna like, it's gonna be compost by the time it gets here. So, because it's a big box, like it's four kilograms, that thing. go there when you know what you want to have oh yeah it's four kilos it's like more than 2k pages like it's insane it's one of those things that you go to machinist shop and you'll say oh that is a nice book and it's like 25 years old you know let me see if i can search for it only using uh, the mouse there we go uh, live camera like the catalog is, is fucking huge <laughs> they have like a bazillion of regions is the scale oh they have the weirdest thing i tried to buy like a metal pipe with like valves and stuff from them and then i realized that if i had to ship to me they would have to mark it in the um, HS49, I think it was. Either 49 or 46, I don't remember which one. Um, in the harmonized code uh, for like import export. And like, if you go to the like general section, that chapter is for like nuclear plants parts. So I was like, hmm, hmm. How can I justify to my local customs agency that I'm not building a nuclear reactor and I'm just doing pressure stuff? Because <laughs> the, the harmonized code for that part is literally like HS46 or 49 and then dot dot dot. <laughs> and that is literally just the category for nuclear parts. from TNE okay now that makes sense TNE is one of those places in EU where you can find basically everything they actually have the multimeter that I got it was super funny because I asked them hey do you have like used units that I can then ask you to do the calibration and they were like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't have those. You gotta pay the full price. I got this from a random like electronic uh, like recycling center in the US. 50 bucks, fully working. Calibrated, fully working. Even the light works. It's perfect, 50 bucks instead of 500.
Yeah, I'm all for like industrial uh, testing equipment and stuff. Maybe because I was like used to it uh, when I was in high school, going into like um, companies for my uh, like work experience uh, hours that I need to do here in high school. And actually that multimeter was exactly the one that I used uh, at STM when I was doing the internship there. And also the other multimeter that I got from Japan, same thing. I paid one fourth of the MSRP and it was even calibrated 54 times. still sell them for like a hundred bucks and more Okay, we are almost there. <laughs> you just got another 1k of them. Okay, let, let me... Let me see how many... Uh, how much they cost actually oh you know change country and region please currency euro language english price gross because i can't discharge uh, the at oh they're like four cents a piece get out of here dude this is so cheap let me add another zero, please. Dude. Oh my God, they're so cheap. What do you mean two cents a piece? Oh my God. Okay, maybe 10K is a bit too much. I, I don't know if I can afford like almost 300 bucks worth of screws. But a thousand, they're not very, they're not bad, you know, they're not bad. I gotta buy them later. Uh, Link, uh, oh, wait, they have a thousand, no, 2k in stock. Okay, leave a thousand for me, please. Then you can do whatever. Because <laughs> I need them to like swap out every single sassy screws that I have. Are they regularly restocked? Because if they're not, we just found the best screws ever that are not restocked, you know? And that is not really ideal. We want something that can be run for a while. Two hundred? Okay, if it's if it's less than one point two K, we are good. Actually actually not a bad idea. What if to save up on shipping? What if you buy them like whatever you need for you and then you buy a thousand for me and then at the meetup I can pay you. Share the link. Uh, Bogus, can you share the link with Andreas? If that's okay for you, that way we would basically split up shipping, you know. And since we are gonna meet at the meetup anyway, we can just, I don't know, like I send you PayPal or whatever, 
uh, don't expect like cash because I will not bring cash. If I'm outside the uh, Italy, I will literally not bring cash anywhere. Because Italy is like basically the Japan of Europe. If you don't have cash on hand, you're gonna get cucked. And it's super sus. Wait, isn't like Apple Pay, like the cash sending feature only available in the US? Like Apple Cash? Or are we talking about... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like that thing, the Apple Cash, uh, it's not available here. They they don't have the uh, like the bank uh, regulation stuff sorted out yet. And it's pretty funny because if you set up uh, an iPhone or even a Mac with the region set up as the US, as I do always. Because that way I have the formats and everything as the US. Uh, they will still allow you to create an account for Apple Cash. But then once you swap out uh, or you try to actually like get it working. Not even the registration but literally just I'm in my contact list. And I'm trying to send money through Apple Cash. It will glitch out without saying anything. And that's how you know that it's not available here. Very intuitive, Apple. Very intuitive user interface. Yeah, we can do PayPal or whatever. Also, we don't have, uh, what is it called in the US? Uh, what was the name of that service? Like, it, it wasn't Zell, it was something else. I forgot the name. Now we have Wise here. Uh, I completely forgot. Yeah, Venmo. That's that's it, Venmo. Because I I try to like do something on Mac Market and like, from there, I should have known that it wouldn't have worked. Uh, but yeah, I I tried to open a Venmo account. I. I went as far as to enter my info, but then I realized that I literally cannot open it because I'm not in the US. So, yeah. But even stuff like Cash App. Because I think Cash App in the EU zone it's only available in the UK. there. Oh. Yeah, but they're super sus. 
Like N26 is super sus. Transfer wise is kind of okay. Like unironically though, the sussiest one is PayPal. Like unironically. PayPal is literally money heaven if it works. Because they are not technically a bank. So they, they are not you're not protected in any way, but at the same time, they're not like they don't expose uh, the fact that you have an account with them, with IRS and equivalent people. So it's sus, but it's literally heaven for those of you that do stuff, I guess. It's fun because in the US now, you need to report PayPal too. Okay, I can't get the spacebar parts to come out. Okay, but the thing is, have you heard the good things about it because it's better than the others or because it's actually good? You know, like th there's a slight difference in there. Okay. Okay, this will totally not fit in it. So we need to enlarge the the sides too. of what I pay for? Nah. Nah, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. That's that's clearly a scam. I don't believe you.
Well, you're, you're gonna say now that they actually pay you interest on what you have on their account. You're gonna say that? Because I'm not gonna believe you. <laughs> okay, this totally won't fit. Uh, let me think. I'll be right back. See how can I fix this? Yep. 
I think I I gotta like file down the plate. The problem is that I don't think I have a file right now. Uh, uh -huh. minutes so that I can actually no I, I don't want to ruin the uh, stabilizer because it's it's literally the fact that it's a different shape uh, not that the cutout is wrong so uh, give me like two minutes I'll go downstairs real quick to file down the plate and I'll be right back
And we are back. I've seen patent filing, so I'll actually search it up right now. Basic search. Let's see. Example. Oh, nothing on Norbauer in the button public search. Uh, can you share the link yet? I mean, it's filed, so it doesn't really matter. You share it or not. But I found a while back the uh, page for the Norbauer art, like the uh, like the seventies and sixties uh, kind of style in the uh, art association in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, somewhere. for now. Oh. Uh, yeah, the retro uh, thing. I knew it. Jason, I knew it. He would do it like that. I fucking knew it. I knew it. The part labeled one four zero. I knew it. He would do it like that. I knew it. 
I could have literally patented like half of it. And that also tells us another thing. Because that is patent filed. So if I were to take that and do it in another stem, wink wink. I could I could I could do that in EC stem. <laughs> wink wink. doesn't bind, bro, imagine. The real question is, is he gonna send out some of the parts to reviewers? Or can I apply to have a unit? I definitely need stuff to show off on stream to take some time off of design please so I'll wash my hand because I have lube all over me and then we're gonna finish this build Of housing. Okay, I can place this in and then I can do the rest. No, nah, it's not really that much of a pain, you know? At least, the times I did it, it wasn't really a pain. But it could be just luck. So the way I do it, is I go around like this. There we go. And we are done basically so what I do is I try to align the center post rather than the sides one now unironically it is not a skill issue the OG ones the OG ones were like super sus <laughs> and I know that even though I didn't have uh, like one of the very very first units like I remember people when I started to look into uh, uh, the the HG and why people were spending so much for the case, I remember seeing people like, oh my god, they, they were like molding so hard about it. <laughs> exactly, you had to stretch it, stretch it, and then once you like place it in place, it wouldn't actually stay there because of the stretch. <laughs> So the way I do it is very funny. I go like this, so my hand is going through the case, so that I can whoop, take this, and I can float the plate kind of in position. 
like this, then I drop and I can start to see if the alignment is kind of right. So it is kind of right. Now I start by putting in the screws. But I'm not screwing them in all the way, if at all, actually. I just want them to grab onto the teeth, and that's it. That's all I'm searching for now. Yeah, you can, you can skip the part where we almost cut ourselves with the hex knife, <laughs> especially if you don't code it uh, as heavily as this one was. But, okay, to be honest, for the most part, you could build this as if it was any other EC assembly. The issue with this is that some of the screws are not accessible once you put the PCB in. So that, that, that's literally the only issue with this. Some of the screws are not accessible. And to be honest, I'll not make a HG variant of the PCBs uh, just to basically avoid this, you know. Like, it, it's possible. Like, it's totally possible to do it because it's literally just a U cut uh, in the plate. So, sorry, in the PCB. But, uh, like, I'm not gonna do an entire skew for this. Okay, I'm missing a screw on this this one so now what I do is I flip it oh it's super cool it's super cool <laughs> okay what I do now is I insert this 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 and the uh, uh, the left shift and I use them as a guide of course To properly align it. Uh, am I putting this correctly? Yes. Initial setup is here. Then we have FN, but FN is missing actually. Mm. What was the order in before oh no I actually forgot which case goes where fuck it's a yes no here I want the disc where's the disc disc I think the yes was on the left. I suspect. I know, I know, I know. Don't tell me that, please. Uh, let's see if in my uh, EC Pro 2 I have a picture. I must have. I don't have one. God damn it. Okay, no, no, I have one. I 
I can use the, uh, I bet I have a picture. I know I have a picture. Trust me. <laughs> um. How is it possible? Here, stop and stop here. Yes, here. Got it. Okay. So, what I'm checking now is I basically, with the tweezers, I squish. Get as far into the case as possible, but after that, there's really not much to do. But I think I got it pretty much online already. I'm not really sure if you can see it because the lens is not really that great. But it's pretty much the same. I never managed to have the same space, top and left, and top and right. But I think it's as close as I can get. Oh, we have a raid. Time to bring out the keyboard to do the shout out. Thank you so much, Yuri, for the for the raid with 49 people. Keyboard is connected. Yes. Uh, S O. Of course it doesn't. Man, everything is bored now. I hate this. Uh, you know what? We can just... Yeah, but you're, you're talking to me as if I know how it works, you know? Uh, that's that's the uh -huh. does it work is this the correct channel yes it is okay we've done it we have done it thanks to the power of twitch we got it yeah the bot is borked the alerts are borked uh, if I move OBS from the screen on my right to the center screen so I can see what you're seeing, everything is borked, so don't worry about it. Does the autofocus work? Yes, it does. Incredible. Yeah, so we have the alignment correct now, so we can rotate and we can start to tighten down. My rationale behind how much I screw is however I feel right in my head. So don't ask how many turns I do because I don't do uh, complete turns. I just go bit by bit. Thank you. 
also this board will never sound good so i don't really care about getting the true uh squished uh consistency one thing that i do do is check if the uh slimmer sections so this one and this one they go over once i squish it especially this one where the uh, cap would go in the oem pcb that's literally the only one it would be nice to have a um uh, what is it called the super sussy uh, fancy uh, screwdrivers that apple sells uh, in their repair kit it's not apple branded it's like uh, w something uh, they have like a ratchet system uh, where you can set the uh, the torque at which they basically just trigger but even there uh, I would advise against them for sure I would advise against the uh, like electronic ones because you don't have a sense of how much you're actually tightening stuff in if you're not used to them but most importantly uh, there's an issue with if the screw is not biting correctly and if you set it to like whatever newton meter uh, of torque it will basically like trigger uh, before the true um, torque simply because it's encountering resistance uh, from the threads so my advice is unless you're used to them and you know the tool uh, don't use them you can strip screws and threads very very easily if you don't know what you're doing and even if you know what you're doing the fact that you don't know that particular uh, screwdriver will actually influence uh, how you're actually working with it Another fun thing about this build is that I'm using non-type S sliders with 0.7 rings and for whatever reason the dome sheet actually rests flat with the housing and it shouldn't do that. Why not scoop the housing over the PCB? Oh, you mean take this and just rest it like like this? Uh, because the domes are not actually, they're not sticking to the PCB. So I'm not sure that the uh, notch is actually aligning correctly. And especially with space bars and stabilized keys, if you don't get that right, I can feel it forever. So I prefer to just redo it uh, rather than hope and it will actually rest in the correct position i'm not really afraid of spring thing you know all of that the only case where i actually hated the build was the fc 660 that i got used it was never opened, it wasn't silenced, so it was the non-silenced version, and it had the silver springs, and I hate them so much. They are so noisy, and I don't understand why. They are literally dog shit. The geometry is correct, they are not like super pointy, they are proper conical springs, 
but they are so noisy. It is absurd. And I'm happy to report that we are still inside of the copyright free playlist. So I literally don't know why SoundCloud decides randomly to pull out of the queue on the first stream. Yeah, like I don't know what is up with them. They are literally that bad. See, I'm not the only one. They they almost feel heavier, like if it if they are of a thicker uh, material, because the way they behave is super weird. They behave like if they are uh, like harder. That's MX for you. Uh, get MXed. Okay, then we rest the springs. And I gotta say, the springs that I'm using in this particular unit, they are perfect. They rest precisely at the same height as the rubber, so they don't stick out. And it's literally the ideal situation because that way the way they rest as you leave them is the way they are kind of pre compressed because they stick out anyway just a little bit but it don't stick out so that they can rock basically so the way you rest them is literally the way they're gonna stay forever and you can sit down and talk to me about it that's beautiful i'm glad that you're doing it Hope you get the right stuff out of it for people. I think we are done with this. Uh, what new firmware? Or which PCB? And also, if you're gonna complain about Rapid Trigger, that it borks the board? Uh, I know. I gotta fix that. <laughs> okay, is the calibration working though? Because if you're gonna say that the calibration doesn't work and doesn't fix the control, I'm gonna be super mad and and stream and cry. Okay, that is actually super sus. The uh, the fact that it doesn't get recognized in Via, but the board actually works. That it, I've never seen it. Like literally never seen it, and it's super weird. Also, 
what is going on with the compression here. Are you saying the spring's in purple? Okay, another free tech tip. So you use a screwdriver and you hook the PCB into the screwdriver at an angle, like this. You can use it as a pen to move the PCB to the exact position. And you can do that with the house, uh, either hole on the spacebar, because there you don't have the housings in the middle. So what you can do is you can just hover then rest and you're done. I know, right? Free tech tips? Who am I? LTT? So after that, another tech tip is I want to secure the 2U housings as fast as possible. So what I do is I try to put the screws where the 2U housings are first without tightening it down too much as usual. And then I place all the rest of the screws. Reason for that, I want to secure that iffy position uh, that the uh, domes in the 2U housings have, especially because they are 1U, uh, but also because they have more slack to move around. And that way, I'm sure that they, they will maintain uh, the proper position. Okay, U4T, unironically, good switches. It also nixes. But I mean, there are nixes, so. I tried the nixes on the Alveos and also on a couple of other boards. And, ah, uh, damn. Here we go. Uh, I don't think all of the U4 series uh, are silenced actually. I think the U4S are silenced. U4T are not silenced. U4, I think they're simply just a different uh, uh, what's it called? A different like color or like weighting, but I'm not really sure. I forgot. <laughs> oh they are still aligned, baby. 
Let's fucking go. Okay, actually, what I will do... Clean the board. So, let's do this. Let's rotate. PCB looks kind of clean. You can clean it again. Sides. for keys uh, but no u4 like normal ouch uh, normal u4 i don't have any uh, remaining Or the screw fell. Got it. We don't lose springs nor screws around here. Ain't nobody got time for that. And yes, that was a meme reference. You mean the plate? The pink plate? Oh, it, it's in a uh, freezer bag. Waiting to either be like destroyed or gifted to someone. Okay, for a second, I thought I have brain damage and I forgot one screw because one screw is missing. And then remember, this is a Pro 2 PCB, not a Pro, uh, Pro X. So. It's the ping that should ever, like, what Norbauer envisioned as a pink finish, but not what we received. Yeah, I was like, god damn, I forgot a screw. No way. <laughs> But then I realized. Also, this is a mix and match of BKE uh, 9400A, but also. Uh, MKS. And this is the time for the for the other HHKB to come out. Uh, did I forgot which one was where here? Okay, so I put this one this and this one like this
path goes here. This one is here. Yes, because then I have the X config here. This is the six, seven, eight, nine. It's correct. Purity is almost done. Copy is here. Eight here. Oh, I. Uh, this is the weird slash. Weird slash was here. Plus equal. This is five. L X. This is V. We are almost done. What's wrong with the end spot? Oh man. This is totally wrong. <laughs> there we go. Then we have the old style. super loud okay I will clean up and then we're gonna test it with the new film ruler Bye, Andreas. Have a good night. Okay. So let me go and 
download the new firmware. So this is a Pro 2, still one of the early version. I'm gonna download this, download the JSON. And we are gonna swap to this. Go in here to Via. And we are gonna upload. this okay it connected we can now to this just to show off how the calibration does its thing click first of all as it is let's turn on some of the lighting there we go easy tool Calibration, what I'm in calibration mode. There we go. Did it work? Yes. Yes, it worked. So now we can test it. Test matrix. Just to change it to my preference, X space and here delete. Here we can have this one, yes. Here we have the RGB, yes. Okay. I guess this is fine. Uh, tell me if it's too bright or something. Okay, so I guess for the Plato, we are pretty much done. It looks way better now than with the. Okay, so with the original one that I got this one the effect was more uh, like space kind of thing because especially on the PC one the fact that you see the black contour of the gasket makes it very mechanical like in my opinion so this specific stainless steel with this finish it almost felt like um, titanium the look was very very interesting but this brings back kind of what was the original idea with the pink plate uh, I think and it's very nice I gotta say it's very nice looking the fact that it's 
kind of glossy, it's also very good. Okay, so what else we can take a look at? Mm. Yeah, it's very good. can take a look at there's something interesting that we can take a look at. Suggestions are welcome. Salmon VOD. Uh, today's VOD was uh, about the Apple event, so nothing really earth shattering, you know? We can comment on the Apple event if you want. Uh, let's see if... Okay, so first of all, actually, let me drop in chat the link for uh, Puzzle. We can we can probably check the um, the Apple event stuff. Uh, is there like a TLDR uh, TLDR TLDR Apple event? Of course it's not. Yeah, I mean the, the TLDR is new IC that is not new for the base iPhone so th they're basically using for the iPhone 15 the uh, A16 uh, if I recall correctly uh, which is basically what the pro model of last year used so basically the same move as every year um, they then skimmed over the fact that now the AirPod, uh, AirPods Pro have a re uh, revised uh, case with USB-C charging and it wasn't actually advertised uh, per se but it was more of a subtle uh, thing like they said oh and the new revised Apple um, AirPods Pro case uh, Gen 2 now has USB-C so you can charge it with your iPhone so they, they basically put down reverse charge uh, with USB-C which is the standard then oh yeah the dynamic island is still there for whatever reason uh, they now have new colors let me open actually stream inception mode there we go okay so they have new colors i dig the new pink one but simply because it's pink and I like pink uh, what I don't like is that they now have removed the physical toggle because that was literally the only good tactile thing on the iPhone still like literally the toggle was the single best feature and the sole reason why I wanted an iPhone. But now I don't have it anymore. I have the Bixby, Bixby, Bixby button, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, in the iPhone version. So, good, good job, Apple. You rock. They now boosted like crazy the ultra wideband uh, features. And of course, like people will not realize that the new features work only with the new chips so literally just the new uh, Apple Watch Series 9 the iPhone and the 
like series 2 ultra whatever they want to call it so that that's literally it they now have titanium which is cool then what do they have oh yeah they have new uh, a new 120 millimeter equivalent focal length uh, on the iPhone Pro uh, they boosted for no reason about the 10k um, 10k micro adjustments in the optical image stabilization for the sensor that is used for the um, telephoto lens but what people might not realize I mean those of you that knows about cameras uh, they know about this they probably spot it right away but the fact that they doubled the like micro adjustments per second does not translate in double the performance especially at that focal length like f-stops compensation don't work that way so y you're probably in luck if with those 10k micro adjustments uh, per second you have the same uh, f-stops in terms of performance as the normal sensor like the main sensor because the more you have focal length uh, the more it actually like works so yeah i mean the usb-c uh it, it's good because now you can use a single cable for everything. Uh, that, that's literally it. A good thing that I I think I saw, but I'm not sure if it was my imagination, but the, so the 15 would still use USB 2.0, whatever. Would have been nice to include 3.0, uh, but at least the cable is gonna be 2.0 and it's gonna do data transfer from what I can see. Uh, the thing that I noticed is that on the Pro model, they have USB 3. I mean, it's Thunderbolt at the end of the day, kind of. It's, it's a castrated version of Thunderbolt. Uh, they could have implemented Thunderbolt easily. Uh, but the cable that comes with the phone is actually USB 3.0 capable. So you're, you're not limited to whatever cable they have included. So that's, that's at least... Uh, a good thing. That's basically it. This sketch was cringe as fuck. No, that Mother Nature thing was cringe as fuck. And also, like, Those who know how carbon uh, credits work, like even that 5%, it's super fucking cheap. Like a credit carbon is like 25 cents, something like that. So they, sh oh man, like those of you who know how the carbon pledges and carbon credits work you know that it's it's good but it's a half bullshit thing also if you notice when they presented the USB-C okay so first of all it was not the first thing that they mentioned for the iPhone yeah I mean it's basically enough a like, carbon offset scan like it's good that they they trying to lower the carbon footprint and everything like I I'm totally for it but I would have liked to see this mother nature's catch when you have true 100% carbon footprint emission basically to zero because they're telling oh this one is 95 this one is 80 or whatever the fuck and then we are compensating for the rest with carbon footprint credits and I'm like Buddy, the carbon footprint credits are literally worse than the the Botswana trillion dollar uh, bill. Like, they're so cheap to buy, 
that if I were to invest every single penny that I have now, I can make my own company 100% carbon free. So don't even try to do this. Like we know you can do it. Just don't do this catch, you know? Yeah, I mean, even the ladder. Okay. Was it the true point of all of this? No. You can use like fake leather. There are very high quality like synthetic leather that are as good. Whatever. Like nothing new. You know. You now have ray tracing on the iPhone. As if I'm doing Blender on my iPhone. You know, the usual. And I don't even know the price here. Because it, it, it's easy to look at the price in the US. The price here is completely fucked. Look at prices. Oh, yeah. It's like... 1.2k and now it's completely fine you know so 9.99 plus 20 percent okay so th there's a surplus of 20 bucks uh actually plus five bucks for the uh like a custom uh stuff that they have to buy this new it was like 900 so it's let almost 50 percent no we are not getting apple care man I, I i literally do not care about apple care i know it's good i dig it but once i have the toughest glass on the front and the d brand case on it I'm good. And if I bash this so hard that I need to replace it, then it means that I've, either I was in a car accident, so the car has priority, or I was not paying attention and I deserve to have to buy a new phone. Nine seventy nine. God damn, I hate VAT, man. I hate it so much. Okay, so one. Uh, how much is this? I I can't do math now. So. 1,239 euro minus 410, so it's still 829. So I'm basically paying off VAT with the trading. God damn it. That's what I hate about the euro. We have good consumer law, but then we have VAT on fucking everything. God damn. And if I go to Japan, it's the same thing. Uh, I want to buy the iPhone, man. Let me, let me check the iPhone, please. Okay, 
Okay, so 160k. Hundred and sixty uh, yen to euro. Okay, see, see what I mean. Two hundred bucks less, and they have taxes. Why, dude? I can literally make someone put out a listing for an iPhone on Mercari, buy it through Sendico, have it shipped to me. Pay VAT with financial wisdom and would still pay less than getting it from the Apple Store. How the fuck is it possible? I can literally pay 25 euro for FedEx extra shipping. Three days, it's at my doorstep. So, a thousand euro. A thousand euro, I can declare it as 200. So on 200, I have to pay uh, 200 plus 22 percent. Thank you, thank you, Windows. Useful as always. Okay, so it's 44 bucks. So 25 plus 44 is still less than 100 bucks. I save a hundred and something euro if I get it from Japan. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I mean, you're in Canada. Like, Canadian rubles are basically worthless at this point. Sorry about that. We only speak in Yankee box, you know? have finally a link to the patent of Norbauer. We can take a look at this one. Let's check this out. Oh, it's very funny. Okay, stabilizer mechanism for keyboard and a keyboard having a stabilizer mechanism. So, okay. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that BO was in this. Fuck yeah, I knew it. Okay, it's mm -hmm. A wireless arm extending through openings in the housings into the sliders. The stabilizer mechanism has at least one of biasing members. In the sliders, wire folders extending from the housing, an extension extending from the sliders. Okay, so basically this time. So this is the wire coming off. So it's a straight wire, at least for now. This is the board. Say goodbye to GMK interference especially with this design. Oh, it's a straight wire. Fuck yes. Yes, daddy, give me the straight wire, please. Oh, and there's the hook for the retention. That's very smart. Oh, this is... Yeah, yeah, it's the Seneca. I, I knew, okay, I knew, I don't know if you were still in stream, I knew that these guys in Copenhagen were the people doing the material engineering stuff. Because I, I tried to uh, to find the, the actual uh, 
lovely uh, the studio. Okay, so I want to know 132 what it is. Thank you for not working search function. Okay, the important part here is the 132 bit and the 143 part. That is what prevents the ticking. I'm 90% 90 sure now. They are offset as the RGB. Okay, under the answer sound. Okay, let's let's go through the background. Um, okay, please, please, Jason, please, convince Norbauer to send me a unit for review. I will I will sign NDAs and stuff where I say that I will not make PCBs for that board, so that he can run his own stuff. But please, I want to play with it without spending five k. Please, please, please. I know it will not send me anything, but please. Imagine, okay, you can you can pitch some other stuff as, for example, I mean EU slash Southeast Asia. I can reach both of them, so I can bring that to meetups so that people will buy more of it. You know, wink, marketing gig. Okay, a hundred and forty. to find the numbers here actually we can just go from here example uh, embodiment of this cross keyboard okay so 100 is keyboard shown with housing removed so I, can name, I have a wire preload in the slider for example we have a wire heading us the slider under a preload by bias member okay so 114 and that bias member is what we actually what we actually care. Where is page 14? There we go. Flexible arm. Oh my god. I love this. Because you're somebody deflectable jaw. I love this. I love patent white writing. I love it so much. One hundred and thirty-two. What is that? Biasing member. Okay, so wait. So the biasing member Oh okay this is this is very interesting. That's why he needed material engineering uh, people. Because this buckles like it, it Oh this is very good. This is very fucking good.
Okay, this is... This is very good. We're gonna save this. Okay, this is... One of the contact surfaces is disposed with a flexible material configured to bias the... Re okay, yeah, th this is... That, that thing is what basically avoids the wire to basically go like this uh, at the end portion and then the top section, or rather like the base section where it's enclosed, this 143 is what prevents it to go back and forth. So the wires like this, 143 prevents it to go like this. 132 is a bias member that basically keeps the wire kind of in tension, but it's not in tension because if it was in tension, that would mean that you have a weird feeling to the wire. Okay, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. I hope we can integrate this in other designs too. Like if I can buy them, they're not gonna replace anytime soon, uh, anytime soon um, cherry uh, stuff. Uh, I will be very interested in seeing licensing options, uh, but I I'm sure that it will be pretty costly. But God damn, this is good. Yeah, Jason, please uh, take in the information that I am very interested. Yeah, very interesting stuff. I think that's pretty much it. citing quite a bit of reference uh, reference stuff some of them are like historical stuff so for example the Denley uh, patterns those are like historical stuff and other are directly uh, cited by the examiner Very good stuff. Okay, so for the alignment to the case, there's something going on here. I think this is possibly like a screw channel or something. Yeah, this, this is the key for the rattle. And this is the key for the compliance in the bias system. I'm very interested to see what material they're gonna be using. They're not gonna disclose anything about it, 
because here there's some very fine engineering regarding the, uh, the interaction and longevity between the rubbing of any metal that you're gonna use and the plastics and also the interface between plastic and plastic here on this rail it's gonna be very interesting and this is the compliance mechanism you'll see it here and this basically keeps the the wire in check short to speak very interesting that's actually very interesting I also see that, I mean this is not mandatory because this is technically not part of the patent thing but if I'm seeing this correctly he is gonna be using only like buffers for the uh, actual stem and they're not doing the uh, the sassy thing that Deskis may uh, did where they have a bump basically on the outside so this will most likely not crook or break any keycaps <laughs> this is very interesting Yeah, because like, at the end of the day, the only thing that you care about here is only not having the keycaps like fly out. You can make it as flimsy as possible. There is no need to grab on the keycap. I don't know what they were thinking. Very interesting. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we might uh, check out check one twenty six. Six, one twenty six to the wire. It's the wire. The hook at the end of it. I mean this it's not very clear though if that's a hook because I mean you can't really go off to the drawings uh, here because if you look at this what seemed to be a hook in reality is the bent section of the uh, bias item. There we go. So if you look here, this might look like a hook, but Drawings here are just for the functionality explanation in patent designs. And also if you look here, that hook might as well be whatever projection was of the bias system here, which is basically this S-shaped uh, thing. And here you'll see that it needs to go 
in a kind of a loop so it basically goes like this and then basically curls on itself so that it doesn't like uh, log itself into the water I mean it's it looks like a normal uh, a normal wire at least from here And also, if you imagine that that is a hook on the wire, it would be pretty hard to remove this wire. Because if you look at this picture, what you will have to do is, this is basically acting like a spring, this section. is acting like a spring that wants to go this way, to push down this. So to remove this, what you will have to do is, Take the wire at a flat position and then slide it out. But if this is a hook, to unhook it, you would basically overextend the radius. So instead of being flat, like you, you need to go a little bit more. And that might change the shape of this uh, biased structure. not be like a completely like normal u-shaped wire from here it seems like it i think this is just like radius stuff You know, that, that really can't be like a hook because here you'll see this small section and this one that that is the end of the wire and if you think about how the wire moves so the wire is like this in a like top position when you go down if there's a hook that bias item needs to not only be able to make the wire slide they basically need to go like this but that means that you have a pivot point here that is unnecessary and also since there is a bias item there is no need to actually clip those two uh, together very interesting stuff and yes please please make it happen please <laughs> very cool stuff all right uh let's see if there's someone that we can raid Literally no one streaming keyboards? What? I 
Let's see what is going on this here. This was... What is this? Maybe a budget kind of build, but it looked really cool. I, I actually okay, we're going to stream. Uh, uh, we're going to oh, raid. So... Oh. Let me check this person out. Twitch.tv slash... Yes. What is going on? Oh, discussion about keep life? Hell yeah. Uh, slash raid. Okay, uh, the stream, uh, sorry, the raid message is uh, fuck Tolpre. There we go. This is the raid message. So, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, I think we're gonna have something coming up um, in the coming days for like boards and stuff. If I can stream or like send pictures and that, like, stuff uh, while at the meetup i'll do it uh for those of you that will actually come to the meetup uh, come and say hi and yeah that's pretty much it thank you everyone for joining and let's hope that norbauer sends a prototype or a final unit for review <laughs> all right see you everyone bye bye